At the heart of Edinburgh city is Greyfriars Church and Cemetery. But what many visitors don't realize is that it hides one of Britain's most horrific sights of human cruelty. The Commandant's Prison uh, was the first recorded concentration camp in the mid-1600s. 1,200 Scottish Presbyterians were kept here by the government. Most of them died, and you could say that they were the lucky ones because the conditions in here were appalling. George Mackenzie was the King's advocate for Charles II and is responsible for the deaths of approximately 18,000 Covenanters. Uh, he would lie, cheat, bring trumped-up charges against them, anything to get them killed. And upon his death, the infamous George Mackenzie was then buried in Greyfriars, as if standing guard over the helpless souls that he persecuted in life. You would think that Greyfriars Cemetery would be the last place even a vagrant would wish to spend the night. But when you're homeless, cold and wet, even the sealed tomb of George Mackenzie might seem welcome refuge. protected the vagrant from the elements, but did it expose him to something much more sinister? Was something now unleashed? People believe the vagrant disturbed something in George Mackenzie's tomb and that that became the Mackenzie Poltergeist, that's why it's got the name. The attacks on people began two days after this guy broke into the, the, the tomb. It seems like George Mackenzie is once again inflicting his tyranny on the living, just like he did centuries ago. The belief that Greyfriars is haunted by an entity is one shared by many of its visitors. It was a smell like rotting flesh. And you just want to get out and you realise you have to get out. I blacked out, woke up in a different part of the graveyard. I would say there was a sense of evil. You get assaulted by something um, that you don't see, you don't feel. Absolutely no idea what happened to me. There have now been over 500 recorded poltergeist attacks in this area. And that's just the recorded ones. We don't know how many have occurred that have not been reported. The attacks take the form of people being cut, uh, bitten, bruised, scratched, burned. One of the most common occurrences is that people collapse. Now, over 180 people since the occurrence started have fallen unconscious in this area. Um, it's like this thing is a predator. Attack isn't too strong a word, that's what it does. It attacks you. It's evil and it's very, very strong. November 1999. As reports of paranormal attacks rise, Colin Grant, a local spiritualist minister, volunteers to exorcise the malign presence he believes lurks at Greyfriars. And on the scent of an exclusive, journalist Claire Gardner attends to witness events as they unfold. The paper had been covering a few stories about people claiming they'd been attacked by ghosts at Greyfriars. 
Then Colin got in touch to say he thought he could help out by performing an exorcism, so I agreed to go along. Colin went ahead and I hung back, uh, but he turned around to me and said that he thought that the force of the spirits was too strong for him and he thought it could kill him. As we walked around the prison area, Colin described what he could see. He said there were some babies lying dead on the side of the building, that there was a man hanging down from the rafters, dead that there were some mothers and their children holding their hands out, pleading towards us. they were a, a tragic sea of souls. Colin walked around the area with a Bible, uh, reciting passages and also sprinkling holy water. He said he wanted to try and release all the spirits, but in the end he couldn't because there were just too many. Uh, once he'd performed the exorcism, um, he was absolutely exhausted and in the end was holding on to me for support. He said he was utterly drained and again he turned around and said that he thought that this would kill him refused to go anywhere near Mackenzie's tomb saying that it would be too much for him. the exorcism at Greyfriars, a battle between good and evil. We will never know. But what we do know is that Colin Grant died not long after his ordeal at the cemetery. I got a call at work saying that Colin had died and it was then that I thought back to the words he'd said at the graveyard, this thing will kill me. Reports of attacks at Greyfriars have escalated. Believers in the spirit of George Mackenzie are now more convinced that some dark force stalks the graveyard. I believe the Greyfriars graveyard is like no other supernatural case I've ever heard of or read about or encountered. Um, put it this way, if the Mackenzie poltergeist isn't a real supernatural phenomenon, I don't believe there's any such thing.